Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about sketching and drawing in Google AutoDraw. So what is AutoDraw? So I use Google Keep on my touchscreen Chromebook for sketching and jotting and drawing. And I was thinking, what well, was there another website where I could do that? And I was on Twitter and someone in my PLN who I follow on Twitter, her name is Jessica Garrigan, pointed out that a great alternative for Google Drawings, because you can't really sketch in Google Drawings, is Google Auto Draw. And I thought to myself, self, what is she talking about? It's just auto drawing, right? So let's go find out what Jessica was talking about. So we hit start drawing. And if you notice that auto draw pencil is there, and let me try to draw a house. So that's my rendition of a house. And as you can see, and there's like, there's different build structures. Oh, okay. I'll, uh, maybe we'll go with that. What about that one? Oh, that's actually kind of a house. Okay. And by the way, I can now draw, let's say, um, let's say I want to draw a boat. So I'll draw a little sailboat. Oh, and I meant to change the little color there. So there you go. It's red and it thinks it's a traffic cone or... That's a kind of a sailboat, a bigger sailboat than I had in mind. Okay, so that's that. But if you look back here, there are more options. So I can select, and if I select, I can position, and I can move, and I can uh, resize, but I can also simply draw. And if you notice, I can start with that, and I can adjust the size. That's huge, right? I can change the colors, and again, the color palette is not... Oh, look at that. Look at all these different colors. I hadn't even noticed those before. Look at that. Really cool. By the way, if you want more information on this tool, um, Eric Kurtz and Adam Schoenbart both have good blog posts about it. I will link them in the description. So from there, we can type. Now with the typing, you can't really use the touch screen. You can change the font and you can change the size, but you can start typing. Um, with the keyboard. So that's, you know, flip touchscreen keyboard, you can do it. You can also do shapes. There's only three of them, but of course with auto draw, there's so much cool stuff with that. And then again, let me change the color real quick, change the color scheme. I guess I'll go yellow and you can fill and you can see that you can fill. So now let's say I want to save this. I need to go back to my three veggie burger right there and I can share. And if I share, it will generate a URL that I can share with others. So that's kind of cool. But the best way to share I've found, and I'll talk about this in a second, is to download it and it downloads it really quickly. Now, why do I need to download it so quick? Here's why. If you work in Canva, if you work with Google Drive, you're used to seeing all your files in one place. That's not how AutoDraw works. It doesn't really save everything. Uh, sometimes when you come back to AutoDraw, it's back where you left off. Sometimes it's back to the main AutoDraw page. That is, it's been different for me in different trials. Um, so that I don't like. So you have to download it right away to capture what you've sketched. From there, if we look at these nice, useful drawing and sketching tools, one's missing. It's called eraser. There is no eraser. What is your workaround for that? Your workaround for that is the undo button. There is an undo button. That is not a perfect solution, but at least it's something. Long story short, I think with the auto draw capability and with the fun stuff that you can do, and you can do it with your mouse, you can do it with your finger, you can do it with a, uh, oh, oh, and I just, look at that, I just filled it. Let me auto draw, uh, let me just uh, undo, and then I'll just do a quick little draw. Anyway, the things you can do with the different inputs, whether it be your mouse, your finger, a stylus, um, I think it is a really fun and cool tool and it works great on any touchscreen Chromebook. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.